Hey guys, this is Brad. This is Brad from BD Production Studios here to give you part part two of the healing tutorial. Um, as you can see, I kind of moved stuff around, resized it. You can also you can always uh, do this. You can change up your mat, your uh, what your mask is. Kind of see, I, I had that, and I was like, now nah, I'll just change it back to the full thing. And then I move, I rotate it around, and it all updates into this comp. So let's get started with the tutorial. Go down to your heal layer which is your basic layer um, go to glass you go to your effects and presets type in glass and then drag it on top of heal it makes you look really weird I understand that don't I'm I'm fully aware of that just go to your uh, bump map go to cut so it's this as you can see it looks very strange just turn off your uh, cut map and then go to your property or yeah property go to alpha so it's the alpha channel it looks really even weirder uh go to your softness this is all the presets that i use you can go somewhere around them or your own what you think is good so go for me i do softness 2.3 3.0 uh 50 for the displacement keep it at 50 it's like the only thing you don't have to change for your own i do 28 and negative 150, 180. Oh, oh, oh. Negative 180 or around 180. Just so it looks indented. Shading, uh, ambience. I use 94. Diffuse is 83. Specular, I have it at like four. And but be, because the diffu the roughness brings out the specular and you want to bring down you don't want to see the specular that much so I have but because I have the roughness at a pretty high number and then the metal I keep the same so now you have this little indent or on your guys face that looks stupid <laughs> bring out this and it looks even stupider even more stupid because you have just white go into this go generate effects uh, effects uh, generate fill take your uh, fill and just kind of bring it down in color so it looks more dark deep, darker I guess I was going to say deeper but well, that's what she said I'm so funny um, as you can see there's like different there's different levels and that's what the glass does so like right here is like it looks deep and then up here it doesn't look as deep but it's it just makes it more unique and my position is very where I put the mask is very strange for an eff this effect. But now we're going to create kind of like a sore skin around it. Like when you get a cut and then your skin gets red around it. We're going to do that. So duplicate your uh, cut map layer so it just goes completely black. Kidding. Um, go to your fast blur. I mean go to blur and sharpen. Fast blur. I'm going to be doing uh, right clicking a lot. So just bear with me. Uh, then take that and just like put it up I, I'm out of words uh, and it makes this red skin around it looking sore and everything and just to boost it go to your color correction go to curves change your channel to alpha and just bring it up some more okay that's too much uh, you can bring it up as much as you want so you can have like bleeding out skin which looks really bad and not realistic and then uh that <laughs> so now we're going to be doing the healing part of it so what i what you do is you go into this and then you t uh you're you go into the, your cut pre comp and then you can type it actually you can just go to matting and then simple simple choker and as you can see if you put it up it takes it dis makes stuff disappear so you just keep going up and up and up and the bigger your mask the more you're gonna have to go up I'll go back down to zero and then you just animate it so I'll go to about actually about where I was uh, keyframe it go a few frames and then fully make it disappear and then in this it's gone it automatically updates oh my god how does he do, do it I'm kidding um, I just quickly render it out, see how it looks. 
looks really bad, I understand. I'm just showing you a very rough, bad copy of it, just to show you it. So, if I play it, it disappears. Go frame by frame, and you can see... You can also adjust it so it slowly dissipates, like I'm just showing you. Uh, just so it doesn't go over a lot, a long time. Because <laughs> there's a lot to do, there was a lot to do in this tutorial. Uh, you can also add some bruising on your guy's face. So, like under his eye, or around his nose, or something, or around the scar. Basically, just go new, solid, make it kind of a bluish purple. Hit OK. Now bring your light... I mean your uh, mode to soft light. Take your mask tool and just mask out an area that you want to be covered. Wait, oh, not his hair. Make sure you don't get his hair. I'll do it right there, and I'll do inside of here, and I'll do around his nose or something. You can do it. You can do whatever you want that makes it look good. And then you just take your mask. Uh, actually, just hit F on your thing on your layer and just fade each of them out as much as you need so slightly and then go to your opacity and you can bring it down just to get the the skin color into it so it looks like you got like the, the crap kicked out of them and then you can also also you have to you have to parent it to your null object so it sticks on your guys face and you can uh you can make it dissipate over time you know, like by keyframes and doing all this. But that's pretty much it. I um, hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Again, tomorrow I'm going to be making a video with both of these effects in it. So stay tuned for that. See ya.